Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, let's get into it. Yes. I have to do voices. Fuck, okay. <laughs> September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Oh god. Well! <laughs> oh god. I wasn't ready for this. Uh, I should have done like vocal warm ups or something. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! <laughs> hey, baby, how it do? <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Oh, you look a little- you look- you're looking a little guilty now, baby boo. Uh, you fe you feeling like maybe something's gone a little wrong in your little pristine fucking justice bubble fucking- I can speak. What does White have the- 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 the-, the What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying, I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? <laughs> How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Why? Now why would you do that? Now what? Why? Why would you why would you just want to assume that everyone is guilty? You're like, oh, there's no- oh, I can't tell if they're innocent or not, so I'm just gonna make sure everybody's guilty and it won't matter. What? But if you get the guilty- the innocent person declared guilty, then the guilty person gets away and it helps nothing. Edgeworth, you little shit. So, I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. <laughs> hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? But, but, but we're lovers. <laughs> Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? <laughs> okay, I need to do, I need to do Maya better. I'm just sort of screeching. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Murmur, murmur. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Yeah, they definitely had, like, them switched sides on that wide shot for some reason. I don't know what that was about. Um, the defense is ready, your honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, your honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll... Blah, blah, blah. Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. 
I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Eh, might as well. Fuck it. Got nothing to lose. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. And Miss Maya, who, they, who you fucking were about to get put in jail for murder, when there are two very differing opinions witnessing the crime... Because one saw a mousy little girl in some weird headdress bullshit. And another saw a grown-ass man. So... Fucking whatever. <laughs> Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. The fuck? <laughs> Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. I'm like clicking the enter button hella aggressively. I'm just so like, oh, <laughs> I'm just ready for the next case. <laughs> that's the one I really, I really got invested in. Please state, <clears throat> please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. Er, your name? <laughs> yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my l la <laughs> la cushion <laughs> confuse la looks lo lotions <laughs> lock. Yeah, no, I don't even. I don't even know what the fuck he's trying to do with that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> Name. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you really want to know that? Mm, damn. Okay. <laughs> uh, fuck. Almost outed myself on stream. The dominant. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> White boy! <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. <sighs> I'm dying. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't. He <laughs> really said, said that. <sighs> I need water. Oh, it's hot in here. It's not everywhere, it's in the fucking hundreds. Everything is a death. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <clears throat> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Rorwhite. You may begin your testimony. If I can rip this guy's testimony apart- If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Oh ho ho! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. 
Why does everybody just call him Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> Let him have it, Phoenix! No, don't whip your dick out in court! Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly... Persifying. What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I know he's been, he's been making shit up. But, per- Like, I don't even know what the fuck he was trying to say here. He said that's reading. What in the actual goddamn hell? Yeah, that's- that's literally nothing. That- uh, that just- that, that- that hurts me physically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you- sure you were perusifying. You are per perusing the reading and the- I don't know what the fuck's happening here. Uh, that's reading to you. <laughs> Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Or, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. I know who the itch is. Alright. About nine o'clock? Yeah, okay. I was qu quietly making up fucking words. Uh. Papers by the window. Okay, then I heard. But were you in the room? Because the bellboy didn't see you. He saw you earlier, though, and can testify against you, you little shit. Um. A bedlam coming from outside. I'm surprised I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw her, my spiky-haired man, attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. How could you tell? I'll call Miss May over at once. Okay. Let's just start. Let's start from the beginning. Let's just start fucking you up. Let's just. Let's just fuck you up by the way. Okay, you know what? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, let's... Okay... Okay, let's just say you can't- you don't know that was fucking me. Hold it! What you just said directly conflicts Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> Counting both eyes? 40. 40. Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. No shit. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? Oh, and what happened? Something, whatever, probably. I don't know, Edgeworth. I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Why wouldn't Miss May talk about you being in her hotel room? She ran away. But you gave chase. Uh, how exactly? Be, be more direct. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? 
as you know, I am always absolutely okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim? The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Did they? Did they run to the left? Is that is that is that what is that what we're doing? Are we running to the left? Are we are we are we running to the left? Is that what we're doing? Really? We're running to the left? Wait, right there. Mr. White. You've dug your own grave. <laughs> what is it? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran to the right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <sighs> Very strange. I did see her run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. No shit. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. Ha! I doubt it. <laughs> do, do ya! Do ya now! <laughs> uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what- uh, Fucking- Switching from four different male voices when I can barely do one. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Boop, boop, boop! <laughs> Take that! This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point of view, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. No shit, that's the point I'm trying to make, Edgelord. Aura. I will have aura. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R rap rapscallion! <laughs> the, the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, your honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. 
Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. <laughs> she ran to the left. <laughs> Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That it was that is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Hmm, did I know? That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense, does it? You dumb fuck. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? Yes! You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Phoenix. Did I hit her twice? Did I hit her twice? Yeah, I, I hit her twice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hit her twice. Uh-huh. Is that, is, that, is that what happened? Yeah, did I? Uh-huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, I sure, sure I did. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Huh? <laughs> What do you have to say to that? <laughs> Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the court you were absolutely perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony... The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no breaks, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White. Oh, okay. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss... Mia, run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap indeed. <laughs> Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. So is mine, bro. I need to set up better, probably. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> this is almost over. <laughs> um, well, see, I looked at the other window and I heard the thing fall. What thing? What thing? You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that, um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah! Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh, w what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand. Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. 
The witness will revise his testimony. Oh, okay, okay. Of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mio run to the left. The killer, you attacked her. Mm-hmm. All right, then what was there? Was there? Mm-hmm. The glass light stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait. One moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so, so confused. <laughs> we like to watch bitches crumble. <laughs> White's falling apart. Your Honor, please. I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. <laughs> Very well, the witness may continue his account. The next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer you attacked her, but she died. She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her end with a single blow swap. Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch. Oh. <laughs> he's probably afraid I'll catch on. Uh, catch a. Fuck me. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something. <laughs> but it won't be easy. How? Yeah, what, what can I- Like, literally, it's shattered to bits, motherfucker. This? Glass shards. But beyond all recognition. Here, take that. OBJECTION! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? <laughs> the stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. Isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So you- so, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked, then? C correct That would be no problemo, right? Hmm... Big problemo! There's a big problemo, or I mean, problem here. What problem is that? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You can't do anything straight, Phoenix, but go off. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, that is so. It's conclusive, definite, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? You have, you have proof? I sure do, your honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. This one, that's the floor plan. Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor, now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well... Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? Erp. Ridiculousity. Losity. Ridiculosity. Okay. Mr. White. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards of glass... You could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. 
And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fey Law Offices. Office. See, that's offices. I don't like how it's offices. Office. Does office just have an S? I don't want to spell. I don't know how English works. Wouldn't an office just be an E? Like, it's not office. 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 Fucking how do you spell office? I keep saying offices. And I think, would that be like two S? I don't know how, I don't know English. <laughs> Why is English just a hard language? <laughs> and I'm a native speaker too. Yeah, offices one, it's offices. Why is it offices? Why is that how they, it's one office. Why do they call it offices? Okay, it's not offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. What <laughs> a a broken man, Mr. White. Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Edge Lord, seriously? That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Wh what? Urk, I forgot about Edgeworth. <laughs> Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? C correct. You are most correct, Miles. Miles? <laughs> Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay & Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all of this means, Mr. Edgeworth. You're a dumb bitch. Um, gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been in that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass gla blah, blah. he could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. <laughs> Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. I've never seen such bullshit. <laughs> Phoenix had never seen such bullshit. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. 
I had entered the Thane Co. Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct, that is right. I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Ah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. I actually already know the solution to this case, so it's kind of, kind of cheating, but it's fine. Uh, once we get into the like other two games, I um I've never seen those ones played, or played them myself. So I've watched the anime, but I know the anime is like at least slightly different than the game in like some respects, like some clues, like stuff that happens, or so it will be new and a little more actually challenging for me, maybe. Um, but I do just happen to know the solution to this case, so. Um, cool. I don't know how it actually wants me to find the solution, though. Because I just sort of know it. I had done to place the wire tap. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Damn it. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Can I just... 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 Does- does he have to know what's happening in order for me to do this? This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, your honor. Yeah, I just know the answer. Like, this is kind of cheating. <laughs> I don't actually know what it wanted me to do. How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? <laughs> Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that will win me any points with the judge. But it does. It, it is. It's what I need. How do I get to there? Do you have proof? <laughs> Miss April May knew the d Miss April May <clears throat> Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. But was it placed by <laughs> You previously stated that you hadn't, and you don't even- you said you didn't even know, Mia, so what? Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Objection. Unidentified fingerprints several days ago were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. Rut White's, because he committed the murder! As if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Where the same fingerprints on the murder weapon, perhaps? <laughs> of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Did you? <laughs> why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? Why did I use that voice? Why where am I? <laughs> The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. It's a b the t b the the b Victor Montage died right struck. Scene. Um, what is it? What the fuck does it want me to do? It, it's frustrating that I know the solution and I still can't figure it out. <laughs> what haven't I pressed him on? I don't think I pressed on this one, but I think that was like the solution to something. 
Why did you tap Miss Mia's phone? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a good question. This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Doesn't it? It did before. I mean, tapping the phone of the murder victim is very bearing to the case. Especially when he was blaming April May and not coming forward with it himself, and now he is. And he was there. He was at the hotel that the other person was at. And April May has an alibi because she got iced coffee at 9 o'clock exactly, which is suspicious, su suspicious as shit, and got two cups. But the man wasn't in the room with her because he was off committing a murder. Blue Clo- Blue Corp. <laughs> Blue Corp. <laughs> Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. This is illegal. This is very illegal. Uh oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tsk tsk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? What? Yeah, just send me to jail for the murder of my friend and, and like, boss, chief person. Just fuck it. You know what? Yeah, just, you know what? Convict me even though I know the murderer is right there. Seriously? Phoenix. You're, you're, you're a shit anime protagonist. You just... <laughs> you just... I don't know, I'll give up. Fuck the power of friendship or some shit, I don't know. Yes. <coughs> yes, your honor. Phoenix? Oh, oh yeah. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M M Mia? Oh. Somebody passed it out. <laughs> where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? You passed the fuck out. Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah! <laughs> ah, you're finally awake. Gak! Uh, hey, Phoenix! Gak! <laughs> That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Gladly, hey. <laughs> Oh. Y your M Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accept your defeat in court, accepted probably is what it said. It appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came- that's what I came here to tell you. But- but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah. That one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix. White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with this? Do is it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars, wow. Big spender. <laughs> Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th? 
That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. The week before the murder, beginning of September, but September 4th. That's not a week into September. He said he saw the stand. Oh. <laughs> he said he saw this. Fuck. I, this, this is what, okay, like, I love Mia, but I'm glad Maya is there more because their voices are much easier to differentiate. <laughs> He said he saw- he said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. I see updated in the court record. Dope. Fantastic. Why would you not read the back of the receipt ever? Like, I mean... It's fine. September 9th, so 1 16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather, are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. <laughs> Imagine just passing the fuck out. Oh my god, he said, oh god, my life's going to shambles. <laughs> tsk, tsk. Your honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, fuck you! <laughs> I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Pardon. It was the beginning of September. Oh, 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 was it now? I can finally present. <laughs> Look closely at this. You mean the same evidence you gave me earlier that made no fucking sense and I told you to fuck off with? See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? The other side. The other, uh. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. <laughs> Shook. <laughs> you see... Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Bay and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been could not have been there. Qua Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. <laughs> Uh oh, he's losing it. <laughs> well, your honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of a pressure on you. Quite a bit of pressure. <laughs> I think I said a bit of all pressure. But I think you'll agree, you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Uh... What? No way, can he worm his way out of this one? Oh wait, I forgot, it's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claim. 
However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inqu inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry. <laughs> This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I'll object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White a trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. <laughs> the completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. One second. I got a melty ass blizzard. We love to see it. The Snickers Blizzard. It's fucking delicious. Okay. I need to finish this. Look at this um, cup holder. Watch the spoon. Watch the liquid. Okay. Let me finish this. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. The witness will stay. <laughs> Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. White. Mr. Wright. I'm on trial, Your Honor. I'm being accused of a murder I didn't commit. Yes, I'm being persistent about my innocence. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. A list of people's name. Ooh. <laughs> Take that. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S s stop. Dis. 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 Deceased. A uh, deceased? There's just deceased? Deceased? <laughs> desist. Oh, desist. Yeah. S -s -s stop. Desist. Halt. P please. Stop. Make him stop. How? How did you get that list? Mr. White? Admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. I- I confess. I confess. I- I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with- The thinker. Case closed, your honor. <laughs> Phoenix is just- nah. <laughs> Well, I see no reason to- Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. <laughs> yes, your honor. I guess you could say that... If only you knew how spirited it was. <laughs> hmm, well... This court finds the defense... Ahem, rather... The defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright... Not guilty. Woo! I don't know why this court has confetti cannons, but... That is all. This court is adjourned. I really want to eat that fucking blizzard. <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all better wrap this up quickly. <laughs> September 9th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. Me and Maya. <laughs> I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. W what No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief? <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix. Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief? Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Finical Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Uh, Mia? What? <laughs> you should see your face! Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M maya <laughs> What? Did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Fe <laughs> oh Phoenix, could you go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya? Why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright and Co. law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! <laughs> Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business? <laughs> you... Don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know, what the, you, <coughs> you know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is my <laughs> it is Maya's fault I'm here now. <laughs> but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Red and Co. Law Offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. That's creepy. Watching you get fucking railed by Edgeworth. Sorry. <laughs> Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy, burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. <laughs> Ta da! Woohoo! Oh. I forgot about this one. Motherfucker. I thought the next one was the one I like. I forgot I'll have to do Turnabout Samurai first. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>